Grammarly can sometimes feel a little bit intrusive when it's prompting to correct your grammar on every single website that you post on or make a comment on. That's why I prefer to actually disable the Grammarly on things like Facebook and YouTube. And there is the option there to disable it on individual sites. If you click on the little Grammarly icon in the top right hand corner of your browser, then the first option in the list is to disable it for the specific website you're on. If you prefer to disable Grammarly completely in your browser, then you can do that from extensions. And in Chrome, Firefox and Edge, they're all very much similar. You click on the menu icon in the top right hand corner of the window and there in Edge you'll see the option for extensions. In Chrome it's under more tools and extensions and in Firefox they like to be a little bit different. They call it add-ons. But if you go into the extensions you should see Grammarly there and you'll see the little slider where you can disable it or if you prefer you can remove it completely by selecting uninstall. For Safari users, you guys, it's a little bit different. Again, you need to click on Safari in the menu, select preferences, and there in Safari preferences, you'll see a tab for extensions, and there'll be a little tick box beside Grammarly. And if you untick Grammarly, you'll see it'll remove the icon just to the left of the Safari address bar. I hope you found this video useful. For more tips and videos like this, you can subscribe to the channel. And if you'd like to check out my blog, it's faculty of Until next time, thank you very much for watching.